Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is May and I joined Google about a year ago. I still remember the time when I had to put together my case studies. Not so fun. Many of you have requested to see my case study. Thank you for giving me video ideas. So in this video, I will take you on a tour of one of them. I worked on this project for two years, seeing it through from a single feature to a complete ecosystem. Even though I left this company around 2017 and everything about it has changed, I'm still very proud of the work. Without further ado, here's how I started my presentation. Thank you for having me today. I'm excited to introduce myself and my work to you. Currently, I'm a product design lead and design manager at Goldman Sachs Marquee Group. I was trained in visual arts until I find my passion for helping people. So I became a designer and pursued education in problem solving and product building. I have led multiple startups from zero to one, and now I'm helping professional traders in order to scale Goldman Sachs trading business through innovation. Based on Maris Briggs' personality test, my personality traits are extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and prospecting. So I'm a debater. My superpower as a designer is curiosity. I challenge the status quo, search deeper for user needs, and influence through healthy debate. I led and designed all the case studies. However, I will not be presenting any initiatives that haven't been launched. If you're interested, I would be happy to discuss the overall platform direction and details after the presentation. This case study focuses on how I helped entrepreneurs transform knowledge sharing. When I joined Co-Founders Lab, I redesigned the entire social network component of the platform, as that was the main focus at the time. This allowed entrepreneurs to find like-minded individuals to join their early stage startups. Back in the good old days, we used to host in-person events for entrepreneurs globally so they can connect, share knowledge, and exchange ideas. But now everything is virtual, and I feel like I've aged 50 years overnight. I'm a granny in a Zoom world. Back to the case study. By leveraging multiple online event platforms, we discovered that entrepreneurs were asking valuable questions on the event pages of the third-party platforms. I attended many events in New York City and found that the knowledge sharing during these events was incredible. But unfortunately, nobody kept track of it and it couldn't be shared or stored for future entrepreneurs. So how might we empower entrepreneurs with knowledge and social networks? It's time to expand our vision from simply connecting like-minded entrepreneurs to organizing information and connections for entrepreneurs. My objective is to make knowledge sharing easy and accessible for entrepreneurs. I aim to start by connecting entrepreneurs, then facilitate knowledge sharing and providing on-demand education. There are generally three types of entrepreneurs. The first is the go-getter, Ball. He probably has a good idea, but since he's just starting out, he has many questions in order to make his dream come true. The second is the influencer, Alex. He calls himself a serial entrepreneur. He is a knowledge bank, and based on his own success, is eager to nurture the next generation and share all of his knowledge. The third is Sarah. As explorer, she is working a nine to five job and hasn't decided whether or not she is ready to start her own business or just absorb information to make up her mind. Since half of the user base is in the US, the initial geographical focus was on this country. This provided the advantage of familiarity and made it easy to get users to test new ideas with me. When it comes to startups, finding the right market fit is crucial. Throughout the user journey, pain points become clear, and I have heard about them multiple times at events. Our entrepreneurs need a platform that allows them to easily document, organize, and share knowledge. From this opportunity, a clear design strategy emerged. The platform should allow for easy sharing and a receiving of knowledge for free, provide a better chance to connect with like-minded entrepreneurs, and enable explorers to quickly find discussions that interest them. I created low-fidelity wireframes based on the design strategy for users to test. 
and establish the overall direction. For example, the onboarding process can quickly help us determine the user's personas and interests. I merged the connection and knowledge exploration features on the homepage, so users can receive recommendations for like-minded people, influencers to follow, and topics to learn about. This information is gathered during the onboarding process, remember? To prove my assumption and find the market fit, I launched an A-B test with engineers to validate whether users want to see connections, knowledge, and influencers together. It was a great success, as the 2.0 homepage received 50% more user engagement. With the idea validated, I turned attention to the knowledge sharing flow. I launched another A-B test with engineers to determine whether users prefer to quickly access knowledge sharing components and a tag or have an immersive experience with a new page. The easy access option had a 12% lower dropout rate, providing a great directional data point. After user posts a question, how might we ensure they are notified of any new answers? Notifications have been shown to be very helpful in this regard. While browsing for knowledge and answers, how might we facilitate connections between like-minded individuals? Users should be able to easily connect with others and start a conversation. When users begin interacting with each other, they start to develop a sense of community. An interesting minor EV test was conducted to determine how to increase the interaction and response rates. The results showed that displaying the user's profile picture on the page increases engagement. As the volume of interactions grows, simplicity and scalability became a challenge. The traditional single thread pattern is no longer effective. Instead, breaking down the thread into multiple tiers can help users focus on the primary message and explore deeper if they're interested. There are many new ideas that can be identified through user data and feedback. For example, if a user engages in a similar topic across multiple threads, recommending others who are interested in the same topic can increase their connection rate. Hashtags are an efficient way to test this. Once we understand our users' behaviors, we can actively feed them topics they might find interesting through notifications and emails, encouraging them to click and learn more. This is a quick overview of what the final result looks like. The impact of all of our changes has shown that we understand our users' needs and have embraced them along the way. In retrospect, listening to user and diving into their needs always leads to the right direction. All right, this is a snapshot of my presentation during a case study presentation. In a previous video, I emphasized the importance of a case study structure, but you may wonder why I didn't include titles on each page to highlight the structure, such as overview or pinpoints. To be honest, I did include these titles in my first version, but I gradually test out the story to make it smoother. As a result, I no longer felt that I needed the guardrails. The audience was still able to follow me throughout the process and become invested in the story. However, if you feel that you need the extra safety, I recommend putting clear structural terminology on the page. There is no right or wrong layout as long as you are thinking about the narrative and have a story that makes sense. There are many good case studies available, and I will find some to share with you in future videos. I hope that what I show today can be helpful. Good luck with your presentation. See you next time. Remember, I'm a debater from my Myers-Briggs personality test. So why do designers always win the debate? Because we have a user-centered argument and we know how to design for the win. <laughs> okay, that was still a little dry. I'll work on it next time. Bye for now.